REC Alumni Association was created in 1992 to bring alumni under one roof for the dissemination and exchange of their experience, knowledge and talents among its members and the students and faculty of the college. Recal today has chapters in Chennai, Bangalore, Trichy, Singapore, UAE and USA and has conducted global alumni meets at Bangalore in 2010, Trichy in 2015 and Chennai in 2020. Recal Foundation was registered in 2004 as a public charitable trust under 12AA of the Income Tax Act with approval under 80G of the Income Tax Act to provide tax benefits with Foreign Contribution Regulation Act FCRA approval for receiving funds from international donors. Recal has been making a significant impact on the NIT Trichy ecosystem by building established recal chapters across various cities in India and abroad. A portal with a facility for alumni networking and interaction. Even sponsorship for sports fed, inter-hostel tournament, international day of yoga. Trophy sponsorship for various student activities such as Pragyan, Festember, NIT Fest, student club sponsorships. Alumni Mentorship, Alumni Cast, where a distinguished or key alumni interacts virtually with students, faculty and other alumni. Fitness Group, regular fitness events for running, cycling, yoga, trekking, etc. Student Scholarships, 100 student scholarships being dispersed yearly. Outstanding Student Award. Heritage Centre at NIT Trichy. Located in the admin building, it's the first place of visit for dignitaries, alumni and special guests to understand the past and set the context for their visit to the institute. Infrastructure of the institute, SCIENT lab, student center for innovation in engineering and technology, internet of things lab. Construction of Recal middle school with 10 classrooms, faculty rooms and toilets. Research project funding for students and faculties. Recal CARES, a recent initiative of the alumni of NIT Trichy from all over the world who have opened their hearts and purses to help the COVID affected here in India through the Recal CARES initiative. Students, alumni families, faculty, contract laborers, and mess employees who have lost their livelihoods because of the pandemic crisis have been the beneficiaries. Within a short span, rupees 2 crores was raised and it served as financial aid to families of the alumni who lost their lives to COVID-19. Tuition fees for students who lost their parents or parents who lost their livelihood due to COVID. Non-teaching campus staff, mess workers and security guards. Hope Counseling Program for Students' Mental Well-Being Neighbourhood Health Infra Fund for Local Primary Health Care and Government Hospitals Provide Oxygen Concentrators at NIT Trichy Campus Hospital For Developing a Mobile Oxygen Generator Mounted on a Truck to Fill Oxygen Cylinders in Hospitals and Covid Care Centres Healthathon Research Fund where innovative projects related to healthcare by students and departments are funded. NIT Trichy USA chapter was incorporated as a non-profit organization in the state of California, USA. The chapter received its exemption for federal income tax under the Internal Revenue Services IRS and is officially a registered 501 C3 organization in USA. Rockford Ventures RVC, a platform for the alumni by the alumni, is a committed attempt to develop a platform to leverage the global network of alumni in supporting entrepreneurial ecosystems founded and promoted by NIT alumni across many different industry sectors. The focus is to fund NIT alumni promoted startups. 
several alumni startups have have pitched to RVC and one startup is being funded by a group of alumni investors facilitated by RVC. Way forward, Recal aims to make NIT Trichy a global brand with the target of raising 100 crores or 15 million USD by 2025 to execute 100 products or programs to benefit alumni, alma mater, students and communities. Recal believes it's all about giving back and as the saying goes, we make a living by what we get, we make a life by what we give. Good evening and a hearty welcome to all and all. My name is Raja Ranganathan. I'm the president of a batch of 1990 EC and the president of NIT Trichy USA chapter. Um, hope is all is well with you and your extended families. The pandemic took almost 23 individuals, uh, good souls uh, from our alumni family. So in, in remembrance, you know, I request you all to observe a 30 second silence for all the departed souls. Thank you. I'm excited to stand in front of you as I've been you know, planning this event for the past uh, uh, three plus years. The last one we had, um, in fact, it was in 2018, um, after that, uh, you know, the, the pandemic started, then we had a uh, GAM 2020. Um, but I really appreciate you know, each one of you showing your support today um, to a recap and also for the alma mater. So now you saw the video. I think that video is just a glimpse. I think we will talk about uh, your recall and its impact that what you are creating to the communities and, uh, and the alma mater throughout this session. So when we are thinking about what should be the theme for the event, um, so me, Mari, and you know, when we are discussing, so we discussed different things and finally we came out to you know, two things, right? NIT Preachy is one of the well-known brands. So how do we lift the brand and I need to achieve? And the second one is, how do we do our prime duty? When I say prime duty, giving back to the institution that help each one of us to, uh, what do you say, discover who we are and also help us in our professional careers uh, to where we are today. So, today's event, I think, you know, we have a uh, exciting uh, Agenda. Uh, we have different uh, alumni I think, who is going to come onto the dais and just share you know, a few things. So let me get started, right? In 1984, December um, batch of chemical engineering, um, who went to pursue management to IIM Club. We joined uh, PSM, uh, PS Mahali, a family business of pre owned cars in 1988. So at that time, it was a single location with uh, just two employees. And after he came from IBM, I think he took over that. I mean, I mean, I am he took over that business. And today, I think yes, TS, uh, TSM is a well diversified group with interest in automobile trading, distribution of financial and insurance products, uh, real estate advisory, and real estate development across South India and employs by the best, you know, people. An active angel investor, vice president of Madras uh, Management Association, executive council uh, member of the Chennai Angels. Past residents of IM Calcutta Alumni Association, and he's also a music connoisseur and uh, art lover, and he's a treasurer of Brahmagana Sabha in Chennai. With great pleasure, I'm happy to welcome Mahalingam, formerly called as Mali, President Recal, to kick off the meet today. Mali. Good evening, everybody. So nice to see so many people together in a room after such a long time for me. The last two years have been, uh, you know, as last by two, two and a half years almost now, it's brought many of us, all of us closer to together, together in the virtual sense, but actually torn us apart in the physical sense. So a meet like this is uh, really, I've done a couple of this in Chennai recently, and it's really energizing to see so many people in the room. and. And I would like to believe, and all of us will agree, that it's the power of 
the RDC stroke NIT brand has brought us together. Uh, I'm here, we are here, we and Radha are here, and all of us are here to talk about the Institute, our Institute, our alma mater, NIT Pichy, and recap. Let me start by thanking uh, with a note of thanks because I want to make sure that. Uh, this was possible due to many things uh, where recal is and what this event is about. I would, first of all, I'd like to thank all of you uh, to come here uh, despite uh, many other things and COVID scare. So I think it's really nice of you to take time off and come here. And it gives us the energy that uh, we could do a lot together. The people I've been speaking to have told them, and we are here because we would like to meet more of you and get more of you uh, engaged with us in any which way uh, you fit it is suitable for you. Uh, at, I would like to thank uh, the Institute, uh, the Director and Director of Ahila, Professor Subhan Dean Academic, the previous directors, uh, Dr. Mini Thomas, uh, the earlier Dr. Sundarajan, Professor Mani Sundaraman, and the previous presidents who set this up, Kartike and Srinivasan, Ramanan, uh, then you had uh, PK, then you had Anantha Krishnan, then you had Rajan and Sai. Uh, what we can today is there is largely due to the efforts, the foundation they have built. Uh, the office bearers, our secretary, Avani and Ganesh, Raja, the Recal USA chapter is, our, is a really a big rock for us. Sai continues to be engaged with us in a big way. So all of them make what Recal it is today. That being said, uh, a few observations and then we'll move on to the more details of what we want to talk about today is uh, at what REC was in our times, or NIT was is traditionally we responded to two kinds of situations very well. Uh, when there was a lot of fun to be had or action, sports action to be had, we got together and organized events very well and responded very well. Be it Festember, be it sports meets, inter hostel tournaments, or even Pragyan later. I think we put a lot of energy into it. Similarly, when things got tough, we were very good. So over the last two years uh, or two, two and a half years, or even last four years, for example, when the global alumni meet happened, uh, we put together a really good show and uh, we got some fantastic speakers. Uh, we got the Heritage Center launched there, funded, and we got uh, it went live last year. So that was one positive energy which got us together. But more importantly, I think RDC and NIT students are very good at responding to tough situation crisis. So when recal, when the COVID crisis happened, and I, I had actually recovered from a board of COVID in the May of 21, and I was just as recording, we speaking to Raja and speaking to Sai and everybody and said, we should do something about it. And, um, and immediately Raja said, we should call it recal cares. And we launched it and the response from you guys were fantastic, I can tell you. Really, I think we collected two crores in 15 days and and the cost has been for a few lists, but obviously some of the costs are, uh, gut-wrenching stories of uh, people who needed money for treatment or families with who were very young uh, alumni were lost. So it was really, it motivated us to do a lot and it gave us the opportunity to interact with the Institute. The Oxygen Generator Project, for example, the Healthathon Project, for example. All these things uh, kind of gave us an insight into what was possible. Okay, so in many ways, it took me back to my REC days that most of the ideas we generated were in when we were pushed to a corner. So we are in a crisis and it threw up so many ideas. That gave us the momentum to think of many other things which we are doing today and plan to do going forward. So I think the momentum is set. And uh, in, a, in a way, while we gave the heading of, see, what are we here for? Basically, we are here because we love our institute and we would like to give back to our institute. Okay, our heart is in REC Trichy or NIT Trichy. That's why we're here. And by being here, I mean not only the people who are here, I request you to uh, take this information to who you meet because we really, I, whom I spoke to, I've said, please engage with us in whatever way you can. In a, in a way, I would like to call it the heart beats the head moment. Our hearts are here. We put our heads together and lend our hand and support in whichever way I think the objectives of this exercise is make an impact on the NITT family. The RECALCAS initiative was called for the NITT family by the NITT family. Okay, it's, that's how we look at it at RECAL. So we thought 
use this occasion, the objective being make an impact. There are students, as you will show, Raja and I will discuss later, who really the profile of students today is very different from the profile of our times. So they need financial support, they need mentoring. So we will share some stories with you during the presentation, which are really got friendship. To just give you an example, one of the scholarships we gave, the father was a juice seller in the streets of Moradabad. Okay, and he didn't have a computer and uh, and he couldn't download the virtual papers on the phone. And we gave him a laptop, gave him a laptop from the, from the, from the 96 badge and it really changed his life. So there are many, many people who need support from the alumni and the larger community. So we would like to make an impact, not only on the students who need this, alumni, many of them will lost their job during COVID, for example, or families lost and they needed support. We have done wellness programs and psycho uh, psychological support programs. So the outreach is not just about money, it's about many things. All of you can contribute in which way you want. So let the heart beat the head and let the head, we put our heads together and all of us will put our hands together to make not only an impact on the system, but the ultimate goal as Raja started was lift brand NIT. We can do it in multiple ways. There's something called an NIRF ranking, which the Institute of Media 9, so which has various parameters like alumni support, for example, research support, for example, from alumni, research grants, number of PhDs, etc. We're going to give you a menu of things which we do. Uh, all of you can get back to us individually or whichever way, pass the message on to your friends. The idea is to make an impact on the NITD family and the communities around. We didn't make an impact during COVID on the communities around also. So, because the community has to survive and thrive for us to thrive in that ecosystem. And when I go back to campus these days, I can tell you it's a very different campus than what it was when I was there. If any of you know, it's close to 1,400, 1,500 students who pass out every year. 1,753 students. And our batch of 200 students passing out. So there's a huge opportunity for us to do this. So let's put a heart to it, put our heads together, lend arm, um, and by uh, lifting brand IT, we do all the things which we need to for the rankings at one level. And all of you can be brand ambassador, already brand ambassadors, lifted internationally, because by that, all of us benefit. I think it's more than altruistic, it's selfish, if you ask me. If the brand and IT go, goes up, we feel good about it at an intangible level. At a tangible level, there's so much, there are jobs which can, uh, which become easier to access. Our network can provide jobs to each other. There are most institutes where if an alumni interviewing another alumni, it becomes easier. So let's lift brand and IT, not only for the reasons of feeling good about it, but for tangible reasons. I have um, a lot of my classmates in the room have done that bit, for example, uh, Sita Raman was one of the larger contributors. Gopi participated in one of the alumni casts. So we're getting support. We want more people like that to come forward and support us in many things. Let's make NIT, I think it's great already, make it much greater and greater. That's why we're here. We're going to roll out by Raja and I talking about looking back, basically. And then there'll be a couple of sessions. Then we'll tell you looking forward. Over to you, Raja. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, Mahani. That was that was very insightful. Um, so I think you saw the video, right? I think there are uh, many people. Uh, I think you know, keep hitting my my WhatsApp chat and uh, you know mailbox. Um, what are the different initiatives? And many times I think people say, "Hi, I'm not part of the West Coast group or the East Coast group or the Recal USA group and things like that, right?" So information dissemination is one of the key things. So, but we at Recal, we have taken several initiatives. I just would like to just give you a perspective of what are the things that we have done, what are the different initiatives, what impact that we have created to the, to the communities and the students. But before that, I think Mali quickly talked about how is our, the status of the college, right? I don't think, how many of you here, I think, have visited the, visited the college, uh, but if you look at from a credential standpoint, Are you able to see the slide? That's great. I think the, the institute has uh, a plan, um, you know, a strategic plan from 2019 to 2034. That is, I think, basically, I think they have, they have worked out a 15 year plan, strategy plan. Towards that, the key, the key thing is NIR of writing. How are we go, How are we stacking among the IIT, after the IITs and, uh, you know, definitely, I think our college is coming with the picture, but NIR, NIR of ranking is very critical. Then, if you look at 
the number of courses they have added, more PhDs and more uh, added more uh, engineering. Uh, how many PhDs are you doing, Papa? So I think uh, uh, many PhDs. So I think I don't have the number. I think two hundred plus. Two hundred plus PhDs, Papa. Okay, we are if you look at the graduates, I think as I said, 1,753 is an all-time record. I think you know, I think we are breaking our own record. We're breaking our own record. And the institute has done 17,000 citations. In spite of the pandemic, I think it is last year alone, I think they did about 3,000. 70 patents filed in the last two years. This is all the institute has done it. I mean, of course, what alumni is doing is different. And 35 crores worth of funded projects have been executed. So far, they have received 300 crores. I think, you know, right from Siemens to, you know, to, to Cisco, everyone has, you know, just funded, funded the projects. So this is where we stand. And there's one more item, which is called the PMR of uh, ranking. So the PMR of ranking, I think we got eight people from the Institute last year to be part, to, to, to get that, you know, that, that scholarship. That is something, you know, it, the bellwether, I think, that the entire, uh, Institute uh, education industry talks about that. Okay, so what are the different entities of RECAL? Okay, RECAL is a single thing, RSC Alumni Association. But if you look at RECAL Association is based in India. So that's the parent uh, organization. Then we have Recal Foundation. Recal Foundation is a, is a tax incented uh, uh, not for profit. So that means it can receive foreign foreign money. And we have an which is USA chapter, which is a 501c3. So a lot of people, I think, if you look at the entire Recal camps, I think a lot of people that you know who donated uh, all the money I think we receive and then we get we can give only to Recal Foundation because that is the exception section in G. In addition to that, the new baby, the new baby is Rockford Ventures, which we will talk about you know, a little later. Then the next entity, I don't know how many people know about AIIC, Alumni Institute Interaction Center. This was never in existence three, four years back. After Dr. Nini Shaji Thomas, I think, took over as a director of the institute. I think when Sai was the president, I think we said, if you want to compare IITs, how the alumni are, you know, opening their wallet and, you know, giving stock options to all the, the PhDs, et cetera. I mean, for professors, then we also need to have a conduit. That conduit needs to be strong. So that is why this AIT, you know, alumni needs to be interaction or got instituted. And they are ready to any money that we give, I think they are accountable for that. That means everything is monitored. Um, they also work on the DA and the YA award, distinguished alumni and uh, you know young, young alumni achiever award. I think they are, they are responsible for that. And if one of you guys, you know, you plan to take your family or you know to visit the campus, you know the campus well, but you know, the campus has changed a lot. I think straight away, I think AIC will coordinate your trip and then you know do all the internal tools and um, They also help us in uh, you know setting up chapters, you know what was the form. That, that they can do. We have a new portal. I think so the biggest problem, as I said, was communication. There was no communication. I think, you know, uh, at least, you know, to my best of knowledge, to my best of knowledge, uh, 15 years back, 18 years back, the only thing everyone was using Yahoo mail and Yahoo tools for all the communication. I think uh, Katni Venkat and uh, Kumar Venkat, I, mean, I think I was part of that group. But after that, I think, of course, social media came and, uh, you know, smartphones were everyone. So then WhatsApp was, everybody, everyone was using WhatsApp, but still there is a limitation there. That's why we said, why don't we invest in a centralized portal, right? I think we compared different portals, you know, Stanford to MIT to everything, and finally we designed the portal. But the sad part is we have only 4,000 people enrolled in the portal. Can I add something to that? See, there are around 37,000 alumni, okay? And out of the 4,000, or close to 2,000 are students in the third and fourth year. See, I know it's hard for us to be on a million apps and a million portals, but what the portal can do is disseminate information and democratize information completely. See, we have many, for example, there's a request. I was speaking to Anusha here and she said she could offer internships to our students. Now, this kind of information is available in a central location like the portal. 
the college could access it and we could do action it immediately. But the problem is right now, all the communication is restricted largely within batch or branch WhatsApp groups as they go. So the request is, I know it is a bother to ration in another uh, app or portal. Please do because it'll, it'll help all of us more to disseminate information, uh, get network, offer job opportunities, funding opportunities, startup opportunities, entrepreneurship opportunities, and even help for people who move from city to city. The request is not only you tell all your friends to ration the portal. Many of us are, but please do. Yeah. Thanks, Mali. So, in fact, I think we are ensuring all the students who are in the third year and the fourth year, you know, from that time itself, we started asking, we are asking them to enroll. In fact, student registration, yeah, student registration is, uh, you know, more than uh, today, I think more than the alumni the registration. I think the portal link is simple, nitpritchyalumni.org. Just it takes two minutes, your name, you're not taking any sensitive information, your batch, and uh, you know, uh, well, I think then give it that song. So it's it, it, it's a it's a two minute. But once you do that, I think following the three C principle, right? Connect, communicate, and collaborate, and it's a one stop shop. Okay, scholarships. Scholarship is I think I think I would say that is the nerve center of uh, you know uh, the, the recal's uh, very existence. Uh, last year, when I say last year, twenty twenty one. We gave close to about uh, 98, 93, or 98 scholarships. 89 scholarships, 30 lakhs. Yeah, 30 lakhs. 30 lakhs. So now the plan is the plan for going forward is I think this is not sufficient. I think we are missing out uh, so many people. And of course, if you look at from the scholarship, there are the recal gives on its own. In addition to that, the batches gives. 1974 batch has their, their own Ranga scholarship fund. That's the name. One of their batchmates, I think, he passed away. So the fund is in his name. Like that, every batch has, has their own uh, uh, scholarship uh, to, the, to the student community. In addition to that, the new trend which we are seeing is individuals who are coming forward to give scholarship, okay, in their family name, which is a revolving, you know, every year they wanted to give some X amount and then that is dispersed. So the good part is, if you want to be, you know, uh, contribute to the scholarship, you have the full, uh, what do you say, first right of review, so to look at the candidates and the grades, and you have the option to talk to them. So there is, there is, there is a serious committee, I think, uh, Professor uh, Anantaraman. Anantaraman. Yeah, Anantaraman, I think, uh, of the chemical department, he is part of that committee. I think he's also an alumni. He's also an alumni, right. So he ensures that all those, uh, uh, the, the, the discipline is taken care of. Okay, so yeah. the scholarship number is growing and the demand is growing. And to give you one more insight, we have restricted ourselves to undergraduate scholarship. There's a lot of demand for scholarship from postgraduate and other students also. In addition to the scholarship, I think we also, I mean, we can give, I mean, I think the, on the Institute Day, we give student awards. I think we do we give for the best outgoing uh, student. In fact, for 2021, 20, uh, I think 22, uh, Madhav Agarwal and Shweta Venkateshwar, and these two people, so this is big cash and you know blend and things like that. We do we do that. So the, the why I'm, I'm trying to highlight is though it is we are giving it for two people, but on the institute day, I think we see a big bunch of you know crowd from the alumni going to the going to the campus and just spending time with the professors at the same time. I'm going to them. Please see. Just one more thing on this awards and scholarships bit. Uh, it's it's possible for each of you to be involved in the selection process by when we talk to the students. And believe me, these are very enrich, enriching experiences. Both the, uh, the scholarship gives you perspective and the outstanding award students. Some of these kids are really outstanding. I've been on those interview things. I, if any of you are interested, you do communicate with Raja Hoover because we look for people who can be part of the selection committee. Is there a we come to the detail during the discussion, if you don't mind. You yeah, want to, yeah, 30, we'll, 30, rupees a student normally. That's what it is. Okay. Yeah, 30, we'll give you a ballpark number, but we'll give you body. Yeah. yeah. But our plan uh, on the Babala is to increase uh, from 100, we are giving 90 to 300, 300. Because we are so we need a 330,000 for 90 lakh Not as individuals, but as a group. Yeah. 
Retail cares, I think you saw in the video, Mani talked about it. This is in a short span, I think everybody supported, I think opened their wallets. Because we collected two crores, I think, you know, the big applause to all the people who contributed to the retail And I can tell you 50% came from the group. Yeah, correct. There are some big donors that, you know, who gave a big check matching. In addition to that, they also motivated the batch goods. Right. So that is why I think, you know, we were able to, I mean, everything, the entire project ran for 45 years. Can the 84 batch drag a bit, Raja? Oh, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, but I, I want to personally, no, Sita, I, want to, I want to personally thank Sita for and his Sita, time. Big donors. Sita Ram and all those guys, I think, you know, starting with a big, big time. Okay. So we did a, quite a lot of things, right? I think if you look at from retail camps, I think just a, that the picture tells, I think, we distributed groceries, we set up for oxygen. Uh, as you see there, I think there's an oxygen uh, concentrator plant. In fact, that was sponsored by, once again, to give the right? perspective, Federal Bank, Sham Srinivasan organized. Federal Bank, Federal Bank, Sham Srinivasan. Was part of the CSA budget. Yeah, we have a prophet, Bhaskar and Nas here. Yeah. And, uh, of course, a lot of, uh, we also did a lot of vaccination camps, you know, as a part of that. But not only we supported within the institute, we also around Tuvakudi, you know, all the, the small villages. There also, I think we went there and uh, all the, the primary care hospitals, I think we supported them a lot. We okay. distributed growth. Just to give you an idea, all the mess, temporary workers in the mess had lost their jobs. So we provided provisions for them, supported them on other things, and actually we supported livelihoods in other ways also. Yeah. So in addition to the money, money is one part, you know, taking care of them. We also just, you know, took care of the or the mental health and the stress and the, and the students and you know the alumni are going through. I mean, a lot of even to take our alumni, you know, a lot of people I think lost their job and they went into depression. So we started this positivity series. Yeah, I think, you know. Yeah, so, we had a yoga session and Dr. Madhubita as well as they heard about uh, rumors on COVID basically. So it was the whole package, so to say. Yeah. And uh, uh, Vijay Kalyan, one of our alumni did a yoga session. Yoga session. Of course, Sita gave Sita also part, part of one of the chat. I think he also uh, talked about you know uh, how to navigate this uh, this, this unprecedented times. Alumni cast. So this is when I say when I want to lift the brand, this is the power. I think we started this once again. It is a COVID baby. During the COVID only we started. Initially we started Sita, to give you perspective. You it was time during COVID at that point of time to lift the spirits. Lift the spirit. Yeah. So we brought, you know, the personalities and, uh, you know, the alumni who are creating big impact in uh, in whatever the field they have, they have chosen. So we had right from uh, uh, Ravi Sanar, the TV. Oh, we have a couple of speakers here. Gopi Kalil is Gopi Kalil, Gopi, yeah. Gopi Kalil was one of the alumni cast speaker. And we have Raj Ayer. I don't know how many people attended Raj Ayer. He's the CIO of Pentagon. He's a batch of 19... Yadu, it's your bag, he's your bag. Oh, 92, 92 bag. Okay. So Raj Ayam, that Jayshree Singh, I think uh, she's chief scientist, um, all of fame at 3M, uh, batch of 1918, and she was she was there. So now I'm yeah, Narendra Nostia president. All of them. Tata, Tata, Tata Steel. Tata Steel president. Anyway, so this was one of the I would say it's a big hit on the cast. Okay. For the past two months, I think we have stopped that. Otherwise, you know, we, we, we are doing it every month. That's two months. Finish. Yeah. You know, this, see, the idea was during the Zoom days or the COVID days when uh, we were not able to get people to come and speak in the Institute or in Chennai or here. Uh, there was a great opportunity to access people who would not have traveled otherwise also. These days, many of them want to travel. The idea is to showcase. Many of our alumni actually didn't know these people are from REC or NIT, I can tell you. It was revealing. So it enhanced the feel good factor and the Narendra presentation. Many of them said they felt inspired by the conversation. In fact, uh, K.R. Sridhar, Blue Energy, you know, CEO, I think when his session was one of the most received, and uh, in fact, he went to the extent of showing his, his final year project. Still, I think he has that whatever the blue color, the binder we all do, right? I think he was showing that. So, alumni cast will continue and we'll have uh, more uh, qualities, you know, coming on that platform. This is hot from the press, okay? She's, her name is uh, Gandhi Shiva Kumar. She's my classmate. Her name has gone into the prolific inventor. We all need to be proud 
because she is the first Recti M to get into this list. 275 patents she has filed, 204 published. Big shout out to Gandhi Shivasumar. But I'm going to do the, we are going to do the press release, uh, you know, this weekend. But I thought, let me take the privilege of, you know, putting this in the Bay Area alumni meet. Then tomorrow we have a Dubai alumni meet. We also wanted to use them. Okay, women in NIT. So Anusha and, uh, you know, all the women folks out here, I think, you know, you should be part of this forum. This is a separate thing which I think, you know, the retail is helping, you know, to, to, to promote more women in NITT in forms of lectures and mentorship and things like that. So, in addition to that, now the fun part, we also, uh, what do you say, participate in the sports field, um, different marathons and, uh, you know, they're just huge we had. Then, uh, retail sponsors, the retail uh, uh, student or uh, uh, run, we call it the retail run. Go ahead. In college, we sponsored as a batch from 84, we sponsored the inter hostel uh, tournaments, sports tournaments this year. So there are many opportunities for nostalgia's sake, also. I think. Yeah. And Lit Fit, NIT Fitness, I think Fitness Camp, I think uh, Raj and Krishna Sai, I think they have conducted a lot of camps, you know, in Kodak Tunnel and uh, Ela Gini. You know, we have a run. By, yeah, yeah by, by the run. run. Okay. We also participate in all the silver jubilee and golden jubilee. I think retail plays a very critical role. So why retail plays a critical role in silver jubilee and gold, you know, golden jubilee? In fact, I think we have Gopal Ranganathan. and you know, we are going to do the golden jubilee, uh, I guess. So at the time, I think they all wanted to contribute, you know, give back to the institute. That's where retail can, what are the different uh, you know, products and initiatives that they can take and fund. So every batch has their own way of you know collecting money and just giving. So we do participate in all the, the seventy one and seventy batches want to do it for the middle school or the primary school on campus. Yeah, yes, sir. So because we don't have an English medium school in the campus, it's only a Tamil medium school. So their 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 plan is to set up an English medium school. Then in addition to that. While we can, there are some batch initiatives. When I say, for example, if you take the batch of 90, so we have, I mean, I'm from 90, so we have something called science. Science is a, you know, uh, it's, it's a lab just to, you know, ideate, innovate, and inspire. A lot of people come and just do their, you know, hands on projects, get them dirty, and just, you know, uh, do the proof of concept, etc. Then the batch of 18 has got the Internet of Things lab. In addition, to some alumni have gone, you know, beyond the call of duty and just donated something, you know, in the, in the form of, for example, this one is uh, a 10k solar uh, kilowatt of solar plant to the heritage center. Uh, maybe next time when you go, I think you guys should go there. This is the first, uh, what they say, uh, stop shop when you get into the campus. Who is coming to the campus? He talks about the memorabilia, the past, and the hall of fame, and the distinguished, uh, you know. Uh, award uh, unless everything you can see that we got getting me. ready guys so it should be ready the next two three months if we inaugurate it towards the end of the earlier director's tenure but it's a nice hall in the admin block uh below the director's office so very accessible very nice and we also participate in the convocation in fact in, the, in our convocation many of our alumni i think uh, i think uh, played the role of a chief guest for example here you see TCS CEO, Tata CEO, and Tata Sun's chairman, along with Narayan. This is last convocation I think we, we had at the, at the institute. Okay, alumni in headlines. There are a lot of alumni in headlines. I think every day they keep coming. Of course, there are some political like PTR, Pineville mm -hmm. Diagraj and Raj of 87, committee and chair, finance minister. Um, and we also have Pony and uh, Oscar. Pony and Oscar. Top notch architects. In fact, they designed the assembly of Telangana parliament. I mean, the Telangana State Assembly, they did that. And Vishnu, I think if you see the trend, people who graduated after 2000, they have deviated from their, you know, the core engineering to, uh, to different, you know, paths of life. So there are many IAS, IAS people and IPS, I think we are able to see that. The so one guy is Vishnu, I think he is rocking the entire community. Making huge waves, huge, huge, huge waves. I think, and he's also doing a lot of uh, environmental impact, like you know, making you think technology, 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 technology to make yes, yes, yes. I think so. There, I mean, in fact, even uh, this, this, uh, this UPSC, I also I think two guys cleared. I think you know, they, they have chosen IS and uh, other guys chosen IPS. 
but the student council, I think the student body, all the president, vice president, etc. I think we also meet them because we sponsor a lot, like as Mali said, Brekian to Kestember to everything we sponsor. But we also have, uh, you know, as a part of a mandatory duty to interact with them, understand because sometimes the professors and the lecturers, will, they will put some pressure, the dean will put a different sort of a pressure. So we interact with them just to act as a bridge to just to function. add to that. See, the student council, unlike the 80s and 90s, with an elaborate body that the president, uh, the student council is must be done. So they drive a lot of initiatives within the college and we work closely with the dean academic who manages them and the dean uh, alumni are first to get things going. See, one thing is raising the funds, but to execute the projects, we have to work either with the students council or the deans and the director to make this happen. So we have started a process of regular engagement with the Dean Academic, Dean Alumni Affairs, and the Students' Council to push our projects through. Okay, so with... So, this, I think, is, this is my penultimate slide, I guess. Um, the students are creating a community impact. So, what, what do we mean by that is, the students are doing... Hello. The students, they go to the, you know, the, the nearby villages and they teach students, I mean, they teach the, the, the high school kids the, the effort, I think, that, so that initiative is called Ignite. Shriram, I think, is part of the initiative, correct? Shriram? Ignite. Ignite. So, in fact, if you look at last year, two people, I think, they ensured that they got into, you know, JEE and one need admission. This is a new initiative. The students are doing it. I think this is something, you know, which we all need to be proud of. So, with that said, I want to move on to the next topic. Uh, since 2016, I think if you look at the college and the university originated fund, is on the rise. I think basically to support the alumni. I think we have several examples like you know Berkeley uh, Ventures, Italian Ventures with fund, which is Caltech, Caltech Old Fund, Experiment Fund, Harvard and Stanford Ventures. Recently, I think sometime in Jan or Feb, I think uh, go, I mean, uh, there, there was an article in Forbes. Uh, quote, this is what Forbes said, the future of venture capital may emerge from universities, colleges, institutions, and alumni experiment to help founders who are outside the current, current finance system. So that means we are seeing the rise of fund, uh, venture funds uh, created by alumni and also, uh, I mean, and also the institution. Extending this trend at recap, we have recently launched Rockwood Ventures uh, to basically to assist and support the alumni network. So, a 1990 EC graduate, after his. Rockwood Ventures, see, uh, the idea behind Rockwood Ventures is the equivalent of an angel network, not yet an angel network, facilitation of funds. So, Sai will speak more about it, but you, you should understand now that. There are entrepreneurs who are still in college. Okay. So there are people who are students who started ventures who have sought funding from the alumni. So there's a huge opportunity to formalize this and take it forward. Raja, yeah. So before we, you know, bring Sai into the stage, uh, just for a brief introduction, uh, in the batch of 1990 ECE, after his high studies in the US, I think he went back, I mean, he, he started his career at Sideways. Um, he decided to move back to India when, at the time, when the internet uh, proliferation started happening in the Indian subcontinent. Um, then he set up a web app development back in 1994. And from there, he diversified into learning and education of children via Fourth Art. Fourth Art is the name of the, name of the uh, business. And he set up 75 franchises across India. Needless to say, he's a serial entrepreneur. Uh, he runs a water company. Basically, he's a distributor of Kingfisher water across Chennai. He's also uh, has a telecom, telecom uh, retail, uh, basically the business of distributor of ship of uh, uh, mobile phones and smartphones. In addition, he's a, he runs the world of Titan and fast track uh, retail stores. He's a Rotarian and uh, one of the Big donors, I would say, you know, the Rotary Foundation. Being a past president of Recap, he has to serve, you know, for two more additional years in our current Recap body as a trustee. 
So uh, this is what I go back. You know, I know it. I mean, everyone knows Big Boss, right? Big Boss, Big Boss. If you look at Big Boss, when Kamal Hassan comes for a promo, I'm going to say this in Tamil that you know, whatever mudiya do, only a mudiya. So there's no escape. Neither you know he can hide nor he can run. So Jokes apart, I think he's one of our greatest assets. I would say for the recap, uh, during his presidency, he definitely, I mean, he gave a definitive meaning to the recap with all the initiatives. With great pressure, I'm going to welcome Krishna Sai, my classmate and uh, chairman of uh, Rockport Ventures, which is a uh, REC NIT Pitching Alumni Institute. Sai, are you there? Sai, Sai couldn't come here. I think he's going to be on the show. Sai, yeah, Raja. Good evening. Good evening, Bay Area. Can you hear me? All your side. Can you hear me, Raja? Very well, sir. Yes, yes, very well. Okay. Good evening, Bay Area. Good to see Raja and Mali taking the strides and making this event very successful. I think these guys deserve a round of applause. I request all of you to definitely give applaud them for their efforts. So good to be back virtually with the Bay Area Beat. I was there in 2018 and uh, when we had uh, Dr. Bini Thomas as part of the beating as well. And uh, it's good to see all of you again. So I'll be very brief. The Rockford Ventures Club is a very nascent initiative. We just started in August last year. And Jay Schenker of the 1974 batch led the efforts. And uh, we have about uh, close to 60 members now as part of the Rockford Ventures Club. And uh, we have had so far about 11 pitches, which has happened from various alumni entrepreneurs. And one of the pitches got uh, enormous support from the alumni and close to 70,000 US dollars is being funded uh, shortly to that initiative. So we have another eight to nine pitches uh, in the pipeline, which is happening. So my request to all of you is that there is a lot of interest uh, for this venture club and I request all of you to be members of it and also take an initiative. I have Prabhu Kumar from the 1988 batch who's leading the initiative to set up a US chapter for the RVC. And I request all of you to cooperate and uh, be part of that initiative. I will uh, personally send out an email to all of the participants today about the club and uh, its activities. So you can get a first-hand information about it and uh, take it forward. So just, uh, you know, main theme of uh, RVC is to connect alumni entrepreneurs with alumni investors. That's our goal. And with all your support, I'm sure we will uh, reach to that goal and RVC will strengthen further. We are also tying up with other venture funds so that when there is a larger funding requirement, which is there, we will be able to connect with the other, for other funds and try to collaborate and uh, help the entrepreneur to reach greater heights. Hopefully, we'll all see a unicorn coming out of the RVC efforts, maybe in the next year or two. And with all your support, we'll take that to great heights. Once again, thank you for the opportunity, guys. Have a great evening and have a wonderful time. Thank you. Thanks, Sai. Thank you. Um, now, move on, moving on to the next part of the agenda is um, there are several alumni who have uh, deviated from their core, when I, mean, I say core here, engineering, to other parts of professional careers because of pure obsession and passion. And they have been, they are creating a big impact in the field they have chosen. I have a couple in uh, today's audience. Uh, of course, there are a lot of people out there, but I will be in the interest of time. So, a class of 95, a Silicon Valley tech executive, community leader, speaker, and author, a passionate advocate for the South Asian and AAPI communities um, in the areas of he supports in areas of small businesses, educational opportunities, immigration issues, and he's an advisor to President Biden for Asian American Pacific uh, uh, Islander uh, Native Hawaiian Commission, AAPNHC. He's also a Deputy National Finance Chair for the Democratic Party. 
So with great pleasure, I would like to invite Ajay Bhutoria, batch of 95, to share his perspective. Thank you, Raja. It's so wonderful to uh, be sorry here. Sorry to interrupt, Raja. Can you exit the screen share? Oh, sure. And also set the uh, video so that your both of your uh, images at the full stage is visible. Yeah, set the video, please. So Ajay, thanks for uh, agreeing to come and share your perspective. Could you share with this audience? I know you studied uh, chemical, right? I guess I remember from chemical athletes, you moved on to uh, a totally different, different field. Of course, everyone does that, you know. Nobody is sticking to their own field. But you, but you also had a, you know, a different passion for. Well. So can you explain to the audience, you know, what is your journey? Uh, thank you, Raja. And so wonderful to be here with uh, our fellow uh, reactions. It takes back the memories to Lepi's days. I, I was in Lepi's 95. I know many of you were in the same hostel and uh, and in and around all the different hostels. So wonderful to be seeing all you highly accomplished, successful people around here uh, in this room and uh, whoever is watching online. Uh, so uh, my journey is that, uh, of course, I was working with IBM, Pricewaterhouse, and uh, other uh, companies through my uh, professional side. During the first term of President Obama, I got involved with his campaign and then with the Democratic Party, uh, raising funds for the Democratic Party as I was a National Finance Committee member. And from there onwards, uh, President Obama got me involved further. He would regularly invite me to the White House and get me involved on his health initiative. And then working with then Vice President uh, Biden and the second lady, uh, working on the free community college initiative called College Promise, which was to grant first two years of free, free community college around the country. So worked on many of those initiatives. And then uh, uh, during the campaign of Hillary Clinton, I was on the national leadership team for uh, leading the Asian American Leadership Council and forming the fact sheet, what we call in India, the manifesto of, the, of what she would do for South Asians and uh, making sure that she, they got the critical votes of the South Asian, the Asian Americans. We lost that election, but that point of time onwards, uh, things in the country were changing and we wanted to make sure our Asian Americans had a stronger voice, the hate crimes were rising up, and we were determined even more than before that we need to elect a Democrat for the 2020. So I got, so I got involved and uh, I went to meet President Vice President Biden. I said, whenever you're ready to, ready to run, I'm ready to work for you again. And uh, he announced, and day one, I got involved with him, with his core campaign, and was leading the Asian American Leadership Council and everything in the, getting out the uh, Asian American votes in all the critical battleground states. We campaigned for the first time in 19 Indian languages which includes Tamil, Telugu, Punjabi, Gujarati. We form videos, messaging, everything. In, and, in, and also, of course, Chinese and Korean and Vietnamese and everything. And that was a huge uh, hit. People got more involved. Besides that, I've been raising the critical funds which were needed for the campaign. Uh, happened to raise 3 million for the Biden 2020 campaign and previous continues on that. So with that, when the transition came, they offered me a full-time role as a deputy assistant in the health and human services. I could not take the full-time role. I didn't want to move to DC. So then I took this role of uh, as an advisor to the President Biden for uh, advising on uh, Asian American Pacific, Pacific Island and Native Hawaii Commission. My role over there is to uh, advance President's agenda on equity, justice, and uh, e economic development. I'm the co-chair for the Economic Development Committee, uh, Language Access. So, Ajay, two days back, I think you sent me a photo. You were at the White House uh, with uh, Nancy Pelosi. Yeah, but what, what are you doing there? 
Um, so uh, we, the president signed a bill uh, which was basically uh, to uh, form a commission which allows paves the way for setting up a Asian American History Museum. Like we have Black History Museum, we have Latino History Museum around the National Mall in DC. We don't have Asian American History Museum. So the museum will have showcase our history, our the heroes, and the great work which you know our generations this or before have done. And I hope there will be a good section for Indian Americans who have done tremendous amount of work in the years past. I have one final question. Um, can I see your name in the ballot paper in the coming years? I know uh, my job now with the commission for next two two years or next four years, it, it gets extended is to advance president's agenda. I just want to mention one thing which our community would love to hear. Green card states today uh, 12 to 15 years in the family uh, and as well as in the H1B uh, employment based green cards. We, as part of the commission, we had several meetings with the USCIS. And now since it's public, I can share that they have agreed to review their internal cycles and the recommendation as through the commission, what I made now is in the president's desk is that from 2023, green cards has to, the full cycle, life cycle has to be six months from the application to adjudication. And USCIS has agreed to do it. So if president approves it, this will be a huge transformation for our community. Uh, getting uh, and the second one I just wanted to highlight is that all the federal agency websites are in English only, or some Spanish usage is there, and in California some Chinese uh, usage is there. So the recommendation is to convert all the federal websites into multiple ANHPI languages, and somewhere down the road use Tamil, Telugu, and other Punjabi and Hindi Indian languages as well. So. That's what Good. Uh, thanks, Ajay. I think for sharing your insight, we are really proud of you. I think you know, uh, one of the services I think that you are good that you're doing it's good for the country. I really appreciate you know for you your time you know spending with us today. Thanks, Ajay. Thank you so much. Sir. So for the next speaker, I'm not going to give any introduction, uh, but yes, I know he's a metallurgical engineer, batch of nineteen ninety nine. So I'm going to ask him straight to come to the dais to share his bomb to Berkeley, to Bollywood, to Black people. Welcome, Satish Chakravarti. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you. Thank you for having me. Hi. I find this distance between the audience and the speakers a little bit uh, new. I remember the bond where you know we all get very close to the stage. Raja, reminder: yeah. adjust the video before you take the stage. Sure, sure. Good to see you. Yeah. So hi, um, I'm Satish Chakravarti, 99 batch of metallurgy. Uh, I'm a music director from uh, based in Chennai and working out of Chennai and Mumbai. And today I stand in front of you as the founder of Black BT LLP. It's the first uh, music technology hardware startup from India. So I'm proud to say that, you know, I've launched uh, my first product uh, at uh, the National Association of Music Merchants uh, Expo in Anaheim, California, the first week of June. So thanks for having me. Thank you. So Satish, a few things, right? From from Barn, I think you know you met uh, <laughs> REC Bridge there. Yeah. So what are you doing at Berkeley? I mean, how that uh, thing changed? For, you know, and also you 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 said you composed music for Star Wars. Am I right? I did the original score for the Star Wars India trailer for Disney India. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. I've done about uh, seventeen films. Uh, in, okay, let me go back to the beginning. So. Um, so Barn was a very special place for me because uh, although I was a student of music all my life, I rarely got an opportunity to perform on the stage. So when I came to the college, so I discovered the wonderful music club. So we went to the back room at the back part of the barn and we opened it. And what I found was a broken guitar, a broken drum set and a very old keyboard that was barely working. So as cultural secretary, I managed to get around 1.75 lakhs from Principal Arvindan, sir. 
and bought new instruments for the music club. So it was a wonderful journey. It allowed me allowed me to, and there were wonderful classmates. One of my close friends, Bikram from 99 Batch, he was from Sikkim. He was an amazing guitarist. So he, he plays guitar as good as Jimi Hendrix. So he was my inspiration. There was Manas Mishra from architecture. There was Adavan from architecture. There's so many seniors I could keep on talking about. They were all my inspiration. And in the barn, I discovered myself as a performer. And uh, when uh, Octagon, uh, the accounts were created for the new, uh, new uh, you know, students, I managed to discover Berkeley College of Music songwriting program from Octagon. So I then applied, uh, then I started communicating with the professors here. So, you know, I started to, you know, find my path in the college so, while studying engineering. Uh, you as a composer, right? I think, you know, after Berkeley, yes, Berkeley is given that foundation. So what are the, if anything, you want to talk about what, 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 what languages you compose? What movies? What are... So I've composed in Tamil, uh, in uh, Marathi. I've uh, scored for my first Hindi film titled Malhar. And uh, I've, I've also done uh, a few uh, a few uh, soundtracks in Telugu as well. Okay, so you keep talking about AR Rahman whenever you know we have a conversation. Yeah. So what is the connection between you and AR? So uh, AR, uh, AR sir is, is my mentor, and uh, in fact we are second generation friends. Uh, my father is also a music composer, so is AR sir's father. So they were friends uh, working as musicians together. So when I came back from Berkeley, he took me under his wing and I've uh, worked as his uh, music producer, arranger for almost 17 film scores. I am proud to say that I arranged Kese Mujhe Tum Mil Gai from the film Gajni. And uh, I've also sung a couple of songs for him uh, in Jane Tujhe Jane Na. So that's interesting. I didn't know about that. Okay, that's good. Okay, so now coming back to my final question. Now that you've become a uh, you know entrepreneur creating a technology product, yeah. Can you just tell the audience what is what are the problems that you're trying to solve with Sussex? Okay, so as a composer, I am somebody uh, who follows Renancer's style. So I compose out of my laptop. So this is the product that you know I have uh, invented. So it's the world's first combination pedal. It's a combination of two different kinds of pedals that musicians and composers use: the sustain and the expression pedal. So yeah, the Nam Expo was a, a big hit for us. And uh, so I create my film scores on my laptop. So I compose on a plane or a train, or if I'm traveling somewhere, wherever, whichever hotel room I am in, or, you know, so I I wanted a pedal that works for me right out of my laptop bag. But Black BT LLB is not just about that. It's about streamlining music creation. So we are all fans of Ilera Jasser. We are all fans of, uh, you know, Madan Mohan and Naushad and R.D. Burman. And, but then, even if we take those songs and recreate it with today's computer, it just doesn't feel the same. So Black BT LLP uh, is uh, the reason for its existence is to streamline music creation, to bring the expression back into digital music. So this is, uh, even though this is our first product, it's the first step in a long journey. So that's what we're trying that's to do. That's quite impressive, Satish. I mean, sorry to look at you. Uh, any just few lines of whatever you have sung? Let me sing my uh, own composition from my first Tamil film. Uh, it's from a Tamil film called Leelai that I did way back in 2010. <laughs> Or to leave the tummy, see the tummy. Why did a baby? Una kulan varum, we were a man, and we are That was awesome, Satish. Um, Thank you. Wish you the best to do most in your music uh, you. and also for this product to become a big hit in the, in the industry. Thank you, sir. Thank you very Thanks much. Sir. Thanks for having me.
Thank you. Okay, with that said, I think we have come to the last lap uh, of our. Uh, so the objective is uh, what are the next steps, right? The road ahead. So, road ahead, I think. Guys, sit down on the team. stage, please. Hmm. We have to listen to Raj. Good. Raj, by the way, is the guy who the brain and all this technology yeah. stuff from China. He's a batch of 1974. 74. Yeah, 74. Keep the one on toes. Thanks. Okay, so how do we, how, what, are, what are the next steps, you know, the road ahead? I think uh, what we have done is, uh, uh, since we talked about Raj, I think it is uh, the right time. So Raj and Mali spent time with IIT Chennai because we always want to compare ourselves with IIT. So we said, how do we emulate the IIT Chennai model, right? Can I add something here? Thank you very much. Yes, go ahead. Uh, see, we met the IIT Madras Alumni Association, Raj, Sai, and me, uh, their trustees, uh, to give you, do you guys know how much IIT Madras Alumni Association collects annually approximately? Would you guys guess how much money they collect on an annual basis at Madras Alumni Association? Any guesses? Any guesses? They have a corpus of 900 crores right now. And they collect anywhere between 300 to 400 crores and have 100 products to collect it. Just to give you. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay, we can do that. I mean, not a big deal, uh, Mali. Any of you. It's a big deal, but we do it. Don't worry. <laughs> okay, so this is what I think they're saying. So we have, so based on the, you know, emulating the Chennai model, we have created 100 products where how the alumni can, you know, contribute, you know, back to the, back to the alma mater and to the recap. So it is broken into five major, you know, uh, divisions like student related, campus related, faculty related, admin, and also alumni welfare. So while uh, our goal is 100 crores, um, you know, and in the video, you must have carefully noted we said 100 crores by 2025. Um, but I want the same passion, I think, what we did for recalcas, you know, 45 days we are able to get uh, two crores. Keep that, uh, what do you think, trend, you know, in the mind. So the top priority would be, you know, scholarship. I think you, you heard about that. You know, we wanted to at least, you know, get the scholarship to 300 plus. So definitely, you know, we need your support. The second one is research chair. The more the research research chair, the campus and the institute produces, that is how the ranking will go. I think our brand will get it. The third one is how to make, I mean, once again, I think Chennai, Chennai creates a lot of patent, IIT Chennai, right? They get a lot of, you know, unicorns are getting born out of that. Bits are, if you take Bits Pilani, a bridge plan has produced in uh, in the past four years close to 18 uh, you know unicorns from energy Trichy, there's not even a single unicorn why we lack innovation we talk but i think we are not you know walking the talk so we wanted to make this as an innovation powerhouse so uh, you know via hackathons and coming up with ideas i think we have already a lot of entrepreneurs inside the campus but Definitely, I think we need to give more money. Just one example, I can talk about Healthathon. Healthathon is we are doing an extension of uh, COVID, I mean, uh, the retail cares. Uh, 24, 16, 16 faculties and eight students submitted the, the concept note. Out of that, I think we selected top eight finalists. And everybody, I think they, they came and stressed. I have, to, I have to tell this, the students outperformed the faculty. Some of the ideas I think they brought, I think, you know, uh, you know, for, for seizure people who, you know, keeps falling open on the ground, is they, they, they developed a, a proof of concept uh, of, a, of a jacket. And for visually impact people, they are coming up with an idea of a, a camera that can detect and then does some AI, AI machine learning annotation. So when I look at the students are doing more, but we need to encourage more. That's what I'm saying. The more I think, you know, we help them, I think the more, uh, you know, the, the innovation gets, then I think that will become a patent and the patent will get into the path of production. So these are all our, you know, the top priorities, I would say. Raja, 
And I want to add something. Okay. Now, there are three priorities. Primarily, scholarship, because the college, we have had long discussions with the college, and they feel there are a lot more deserving students. We've given them the demographic profile of these students. We need support. So, we're looking at 300 scholarships this year. And I told you a ballpark number. We'll come back with the exact number. 50% of the piece, based on 60,000 or 30,000 rupees, which is what Rekal has been giving. So, it can come from individuals. It can come from batches. Some of our classmates, batchmates, Sitaram is doing something, other people are doing something. So we can add to that as groups, as batches, or as individuals also. So scholarships is an immediate priority. And to give you perspective, it not only really creates an impact, but impacts NIRF ranking also. Okay, the number of scholarships funded by. So NIRF ranking means better brand value, basically. Okay, we are at nine in the NIRF ranking, hope to stay there, but we would like to move from there also. So scholarships will give that impact. Uh, the second was you know, uh, the research grants. Okay, one of the thoughts we have is that uh, we would link it to a patent because uh, the research grants come up approximately around 4 lakhs a research project. Okay, it could be to specific branches, specific pro research projects, each of you can identify. It could again come from individuals or batches or groups from recap. Okay, research grants and moving to a patent. And based on the logic, I think there's a lot of scope for innovation and uh, the hack, uh, the healthathon experience taught us that the there is a lot of pent up uh, talent and energy for innovation in uh, the students. So we want to run this healthathons at uh, on a more sustained basis annually. But, and uh, right now there are budgets between fifty thousand to five lakhs per project which you are funding in the in the healthathon we have done. So that's another opportunity. We'll come back to you with specifics. Apart from this, I think there are software options available, which are already going on. For example, Bhaskar Subramaniam is here. It's got, he, was, he and his classmate Sham ran a course uh, in conjunction with uh, the college on entrepreneurship, right, Bhaskar? Was it entrepreneurship? Yeah, so I was one of the speakers there, so I understand that. They're looking forward to another course from you, Bhaskar. I forgot to tell you. Okay, so there are opportunities like that, and we're talking to the college about what you call a professor of practice, which I think is prevalent in the U.S. universities already, where alumni can jointly offer a course with, uh, which Bhaskar has done. They want to formalize that along with the faculty. You had a faculty with you, Bhaskar, on that? So they want to, I think, formalize that now. So people could offer themselves their expertise, industry expertise, Combined with academic framework, leading to a course co-anchored by the alumni, industry alumni, and other faculty. There are many options like this. Now, the point I'm making is just not financial. There are other opportunities for mentorship, etc. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, so right. that's what I think. So, yeah, while yeah, money matters, but in addition to that, there are several ways. Uh, you know, in my that's what I think I have some some it as my closing remark. Uh, you're only strengthening the brand, right? I think. Yeah. Getting back is one one competent, you know. First thing is I want you to register in the portal. If, if you're registered, please tell your friends. Give back, open your wallet. Either you can contribute either individually or batch wise, you know, not an issue. Choose the product you want to donate. There are a lot of I mean, we are going to put all the products in the portal. We'll also share that with you guys. I think we have 100 products. Out of that, uh for 70 70% 70 is capex and uh, for 30 percent is opex later, you know, finishing things. Lecturing for the student community. That's what I think Mali was talking about, you know, various people can be involved. I think Richard Shaker, I think he is not here. He takes frequent classes, you know. So like that, you can involve, you can involve yourself. And be a mentor. Be a mentor for different uh, projects that the students are doing, uh, you know, either for the student projects or for the Rockwood Ventures. Because Sai so wanted a lot of people, you know, when, 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 when our alumni come and pitch their ideas, you know, they want some seasoned people. So opportunities are there. So with that said, I think we have come to the conclusion. Uh, yeah, we come to the conclusion. So I want. So before we wrap up, I think uh, uh, you know I want uh, you know a group photograph. I think you know just don't don't leave it. Don't leave. I think plenty of food and drinks are there. I think the night is young. You can you can enjoy you can enjoy all you want. One final word, guys and girls, is that I think. There's a lot we can do without doing actually too much, I can tell you, okay? Uh, parallel times, parallel little money, if possible. And see, the goal of this, at the end of the next two, three years, uh, we want brand NIT globally, not just in India, to be uh, much, much bigger and much, much more well-recognized. It's, as I told you during my initial remarks, that it's not about 
something altruistic. It's an our selfish interest to do that. And with such big success stories, I think uh, many of our people are, are part of unicorns actually. So. Uh, one yeah, second. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, Sita. So, so every badge has their own gang. So, so every badge, you know, so I'm, I'm Sita, Sita Raman, you know. So every badge has uh, their own Sita, gang. Please sit down. Right? So are they, are they, uh, see, Sita, sit down now. So are they all connected, you know, to the, the whole, overall REC, NIT, yeah. alumni network? So you see, like, so we want to be treated as on par with an IIT or a Stanford or a Harvard, because we always go and, oh, I'm from uh, NIT, Trixie. that's a great school and all that stuff. Yeah, boasting is one thing, right? So if you look at like a USC, a Stanford, you know, they have this alumni the endowment, which is huge, right? They have an alumni network, which is huge. So when, when Raja said only 4,000 people signed up for it, and then 2,000 2, of them are actual students, that means like, what are we doing as alumni here? Nothing, right? So this is where every branch, if somebody is from like some branch, and you know, I don't see any of my friends, batch mates here, well, take the initiative and then spread the message. In this day and age of social networking and everything, there's no excuse for not being connected unless you don't want to be connected, right? Well, I can be very passionate about a lot of things. I don't want to. Thank you. Any other thoughts? Okay, okay. Before we wrap up, I think um, any, any feedback, any questions, anything, I think, you know. You can think, think aloud also. also. You yeah. can think aloud also. Gopi, any thoughts, Gopi? Yeah, please come here. Come on, come on here. Come on here. Well, thank you. Actually, I'm standing. So, but I can't see. Oh, sit for them to see. Oh, there are people online. Oh, thank you. So, the first thing I wanted to say, I want to say three things. The first thing is, this is super impressive. I did not know all of the initiatives that. Have been taking place all this while. The scope of it, I was completely oblivious to it. Here and there, some scraps of it I knew. So, congratulations to two of you who represent the leadership. I know, but you represent the leadership. Amazing job. Take a ball. The second thing is, I concur with uh, Sita uh, compared to this school, and I graduated from one of the universities here. And every year I'm involved because they actively Wharton. reach out. Okay, I went to Wharton University of Pennsylvania, and I'm much more involved with the school, both in terms of contribution as well as active participation, because there is a structure. And that's the one thing I felt that was lacking in a place like NIT. Even if you want to be involved, you didn't even have an idea of how to plug in. And the fact that there is this foundation being laid is pretty impressive. But step two is what Sita was talking about. How do we commit ourselves to give back? And this give back concept is pretty significant because if you think of it, our roots started back in this very, very modest institution, NIT Trichy in Tuakuri. And little did we know the trajectory of our life would carry us all the way. And we still owe it back to that particular school. And the third thing that I wanted to say is all of these kind of movements come together through the power of people. It is simply the power of people and ideas coming together. And that's how something goes from a small idea to a big roller coaster uh, meteoric concept. And I hope that what I'm seeing, witnessing here today, the seeds of this idea will explode. And let's think not just like one or two years or in our lifetime, but in decades, 50, 100 years from now. And you might think that that seems like a staggering concept, but the best known uh, institution in the world in education, the best known brand is Harvard University. And how many years is Harvard University? 200 years? No, 474 years old. 
If not, someone look it up on Google <laughs> and let me know. But I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it's at least 174 years. So institutions do endure. And how, how old is NIT? First batch is 1969. So 65, 1965. 55. 55. How many years? Actually, before it started. How many years is that? I went to RAC. I can't do the math. It's, it's as old as one of us. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you know, so the point I wanted to make is, you know, so when we have set this vision, think in terms of hundreds of years, and that is quite possible. And we are one of the steps in that process. And that's my hope and aspiration that uh, two, three hundred years from now, there will be a larger group sitting in a place like this yeah. and celebrating football uh, games. Celebrating an amazing, amazing institution that started in 1969. 64. 64. Thank you, Palma. Thank you, Raja. Any of the younger patches? I think no, we have one more person. Yeah. Thanks, Gopi. Thank you very much. Hi. <clears throat> my name is Sandeep. I am from 89 ECE Dash. Uh, it's my first uh, visit here. And uh, uh, I just wanted to bring some thoughts to you. It's away from technology. What makes an RC3G or an IT3G unique? I mean, there are IITs, there are IIMs, there are Harvards and all, but something, there's a pulse of, there is something unique in 3G. I think what I felt was the humanity, the humility and the compassion which each graduate brings. There's less of ego compared to the top colleges in the world. It's, it's a love for humanity, which every 3G comes with that. The background of the guys who come to Trichy and the no strikes in Trichy, and now I think there are no strikes. So it's kind of that unique thing. So I, I'd like to propose here, why it's okay, you do all the scholarship, technology, everything, but there are many opportunities where Trichy can be a big brand by helping the society. We can take up, we can market or we can showcase ourselves in some of the initiatives that, oh, here's an IT Trichy helping in these initiatives. For example, now before I give, I should lead by example. What I do is I volunteer in uh, what I call one of the three organizations in India, uh, which is basically the motto is building nation through free healthcare, free education, and free nutrition. So what do we do? So we have there's the Annapurna Trust, which feeds a half a million breakfast every day in India to about 19 states and about you know so many schools there. Half a million kids every day get free breakfast. Just like a Scon's thing. Similarly, Sanjeevni hospitals giving free heart cardiac surgery to kids. One lakh kids and about 20,000 surgery and rest cat lab given free of cost. Same thing for education. Uh, about 5,000 kids get free education in rural Karnataka. So I, I, I participate in this and I think, okay, I'm, I'm not bringing million, I'm not bringing all this, but I contribute that and in my mind it. Heart to Heart Foundation in the US, uh, it's called H2H dot foundation. I encourage you to look at it, H2H dot foundation. And Sunil Gawaskar is the chairman. I had the pleasure of going along with Sunil Gawaskar all over US in convincing and encouraging people to come forward. You know, the congenital heart disease is the biggest problem. So I, I'm just sharing my experiences. It, of course, it's, I also contribute funds to that, but I'm very happy the fund would have saved at least a few hundred lives. With the, with the heart surgery that is giving life giving giving food to the hunger in a big way what you are doing in tubakuri and uh, hostel the mess is great uh, that's good but what happens is it, it has to be sustained but if you tie up with these organizations who are supporting this i think it has bigger impact which is sustainable in the long term i really look forward and encourage thank you all thank, thank you sure. any of the younger alumni 2019 2000 2010 any other thoughts feedback Women any, folks, any, any other women folks? Feel free. How do you want to propose uh, different uh, products also, you know? Please come. Yeah. Come over here. Oh, awesome. I hope I'm representing women as well as the younger generation here. Uh, hello everyone, I'm Diksha. I am 2013 batch of uh, computer science. Um, I think what Sridharaman sir over there was talking about, like someone telling him that nobody from my batch is here. Uh, it is actually me telling him that. <laughs> and now I feel, I feel so bad about it. I'm uh, actually very disheartened that 
And I know I'm speaking for my batch. Uh, sorry for that, guys. But uh, I feel so disheartened that I couldn't really get a lot of people from my batch here. I also feel disheartened that I, as an alumni, and our batch as an alumni has not been contributing to a lot of these things that we learned about today. Uh, but also, on the other hand, I'm also really, really inspired to be able to like contribute to it. I see there are a lot of like scholarships that's created by batches as well. And like Sitaram Sir said that the power of batch can be like huge. Uh, just two weeks back, uh, I got to know about like JSPF, which is another foundation created in Um, And as soon as I heard about it, I felt very excited about it. So uh, I do understand the whole point, like when someone, someone comes to you and asks you to contribute back to your college and it just feels so good. Um, so just like, I just want to share that I'm just so like uh, proud to be part of an IHG and now I'm extremely, extremely inspired to give back. Thank you. Thank you, Deepsha. Thank you so much. There are, there are a lot of opportunities and uh, thanks Sita for giving that impressive talk. You made Diksha to come to the stage. Senior batches, no, please come here. Senior batches. Oh, Gopal, Gopal Raghunathan is there. Gopal, sir. Yes. Anyone, please. Gopal, you want to come and share your perspective, anything? Yeah. I am Chandramauri. Uh, from Chennai. Uh, Rekal is doing a wonderful job. And uh, the very fact that they have organized such a, a large gathering of Rekians and ATNs is uh, very impressive. And uh, we are um, planning our Golden Jubilee meet uh, by 2023 Jan. And uh, um, we hope to contribute. Uh, liberally, uh, around 60 lakhs, this is what is uh, around the uh, approximate, uh, this is what is planned, and uh, one of the main donors is Mr. Gopal, Gopal, come on, come on, please. already here, and uh, we talked about uh, uh, the schools and the nutrition program and all that, and Gopal has made a big contribution, and uh, we all thank, and it is a right forum to express our gratitude and thanks to Gopal, who has made this. He is a US citizen, and along with me, uh, my other colleague, Mr. Sridharan, um, is also here. He is also from Chennai, uh, from EC batch. So I don't. 1971. Uh, we, uh, we passed out in 1971. We had the earlier plan, uh, our Golden Jubilee anniversary meet, uh, which uh, due to this COVID and all that got postponed. So we hopefully will have it during Jan 2023. Oh, and over to Gopal. Thank you very much. And Rekians all over the place, NITDN all over, are in different branches of uh, fields, establishing their credibility, establishing their identity and all over the globe. And it, uh, it is um, a matter of time only that it, an IDT will be a yeah, global brand. And we all pray for that. Thank you. Thank you. Nice meeting some of the youngsters. And over to Gopal. Thanks, Chandramali, for introducing me. Hi, I'm... Uh... Gopal Krishnan. I used to be uh, Ranganathan Gopal Krishnan. And then when I, I came to the United States in 1971, uh, immediately after graduation, I uh, graduated in electronics and telecommunication. Uh, I switched to computer science and I, when I joined the master's at Stony Brook. And then I was in the East Coast for about 11 years, but uh, worked for uh, two companies in the East Coast. And then Moved to California in 1982. I joined IBM, and, uh, and at IBM, uh, my main area has been in the database, especially the mainframe database uh, performance and transaction processing and so forth. 
I retired uh, six years ago, and and then when our batch uh, mates of uh, planning for Golden Jubilee uh, celebration, you know they were uh, storing these alumni funds, um, and that's when I uh, I found out that Raja Ranganathan has uh, established her NIT USA chapter, and and so um, I, I was able to contribute some, and then also made it uh, known to other U.S. classmates and also our classmates in India who are organizing the Golden Jubilee celebration. Uh, you know, we planned it for 2021, now it's been postponed to 2023, uh, January, and uh, we plan to uh, um, meet at the time. And, uh, uh, and you know, we are, as Sandra Molly mentioned, you know, we are, um, um, uh, we are gathering some alumni funds to uh, help with scholarships, as well as the uh, middle school at uh, Chichi uh, 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 funding for that. And um, so um, we're looking forward to uh, going to the campus in January and haven't been there in a very long time and uh, looking forward to that. And also you know, in the presentation that Rajiv shared, you know, it's quite impressive what the alumni association, the RECA has done. And uh, you know, it's a great opportunity for us to be back to the uh, to uh, to the to the institution as well as the communities around it. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think they are uh, 97 the third batch to do the to have the golden gym. It's still in our 70 70 had 71 and 72 are planning. 72 are planning. Okay, I think before we wrap up, any, any other thoughts, any other questions, guys? Come, come. Okay, sure. Definitely. Definitely. We will do that. Yeah, we need attendance. You're right. Right. Every day, I think we have been shooting. Hey. Yeah. Yeah, right, right, right. You, you know what? Honestly, Sita, I was expecting 100 plus. I was expecting 100 plus, but this is a little disappointed, but that's okay. No, no, the quality is great. Somebody else said, come, 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 come on, come on, come on. Ninety two. Two thousand four. Two thousand four. Thank you. I am Bill Ba. I'm Triple E Batch 2004 Pass Out. Glad to see you all. I want to say we are unique. Concept of the whole population how many go to RC Trichy? You go talk to other people, their thinking is different. At least you ask my wife, RC Trichy. Oh my God, that's what she says. So when I introduce my friends, these guys think different. That's what she says. So we are different from that aspect. Now I would like to introduce one concept to you. That's Maslow's hierarchy of needs. If you are, if you are not used to that concept, the concept is that the needs, our basic needs, safety needs, belonging needs, then it is our self-esteem needs and self-actualization needs. B, we got the strong foundation. We are all crossing that basic need, safety need, and belonging need very easily. We, we achieve that very easily. And even the self-esteem needs are very easy for us. So we, as people, we are looking towards the self-actualization need. That's how we see a lot of people here. But whoever is highlighted, whoever are work in progress, we don't have to compare with others. We ourselves are working and we are comparing ourselves, improving ourselves towards the self-actualization needs, right? So we want to stand out in the world. We want to prove, we want to help so many people. So some of the things Recall is doing, I'm very happy to see that. Apart from that, I just want to say, we, just like me, I'm hoping everybody is doing something to contribute back to the community. We, like somebody from our batch, 2004 batch, and also 2005 batches, we are getting together. We have a, a registered organization like Matram We Change. So we are contributing back, like sponsoring the education. Not only that, we are helping government schools in Tamil Nadu, setting up libraries, setting up laboratories. Not only that, we are also helping people for like mentoring. Um, one major thing is how, how our students like, consider ourselves. There are things we know now, but we did not know five years ago, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, 20 years ago. Consider other people 50 years ago. If 
people who are in their school or higher secondary school or college, early college education, if they know the trips and tips and tricks that we know now, we can show them, hey, this world is changing like this. These are the techniques that you can apply. So whatever we took 20 years to apply, 20 years to achieve, if we can know, if you know these things, you can probably achieve them in half the time. Then when they grow, they'll be able to achieve much more. So I would like to take this moment to tell you all that. Um, please continue to do whatever you are doing. I'm confident that you guys are all doing great things. Continue to do that and let's give back to the society. Let's do a lot of mentoring and sign me up for all the mentoring that you guys need. Any volunteering. So thank you so much. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, Bhagavan. Thank you, Bhagavan. Before we wrap up, I think we have uh, there's one person I think I recall the, the registration is 2019. Who is that from 2019 batch? Shiva. Shiva. Huh? Somebody from 2020 also. 2020. That's a 2020. Okay. Yeah. 2020, come over here. Guys, guys. Studying in. Hey, you also come. Let's them. UCLA. Studying in UCLA. Come on. Come over here. Who is from 2020? UCLA, guys. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. What is this? Which one? Hello. Uh, my name is uh, Shivesh, not uh, Shiva. But Sorry, a lot of people get my, that's my dad's name, so it's fine. Uh, yeah, it's uh, nice being here uh, and seeing a lot of uh, alumni, meeting a lot of uh, alumni who have uh, taken a lot of different careers uh, and been successful in a wide variety of ways. So it's uh, definitely uh, inspiring to see that. Uh, I wish, I mean, I. Uh, which the next event that you guys organize have tried to pull in some of some, some of people from their own batch. So uh, try to get them uh, interested uh, in uh, participating in these kind of events. But, uh, yeah, uh, you guys are doing great. Um, I'm probably really early in my career uh, to start, uh, I guess, looking into all the, uh, the ventures that you guys are doing and uh, giving back to the community. But it's definitely a good thing that you're doing. And it's definitely something that uh, Keep it in my mind uh, as I uh, as I advance my papers. Thank you so much. Good evening, everyone. Uh, so I just have a very small thing to say. Uh, so I've already seen my parents attend their own college graduation meets, uh, like alumni meets, and I was always curious that okay, like what happens there, and this is their first time attending attending an elective issue one, and I'm. Uh, I mean, it's 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 way better than what they have. I can, I can go and tell this back to my mom. Yeah. Uh, secondly, uh, so talking about the impact, a lot of people spoke about what Rika did, right? So I was in a club. I, I basically, all three of us were in one club known as Designers Consortium. And the science club that they talked about, we have used those resources for four years, for, for three years. And I think that is a testimony of whatever we have designed, whatever we have fabricated, made. Uh, it's just one step further in basically utilizing, utilizing the resources. And the impact that that one place had on us, making everything available under one roof, it basically inspired me that, okay, fine. Now, when I'm on the other side, I should give back whatever I can. Today, I'm not in a position to maybe sometime later when I'll be, I give myself. Sure, I really appreciate that. Really appreciate that. Hey, look at moving. Anything you guys want to say? Good. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Yeah, please. Yeah. Uh, hello, uh, Autumn Ravi here, EC 2017. So, like Raja sir said, that a lot of people lost their job in COVID. So, I was one of them. So all I had to do was make a post on LinkedIn saying, say, hey, you know, so and so happened. Mine was a startup. They couldn't get a funding, right? So I lost my job. Can someone please help me out? So a lot of people from the NIT community did reach me out. You know, they said, like, we can give you referrals. We don't know you. We are not seeing your face. But you have the NIT tag. So we know you have the caliber. You have the dedication, right? All you have to do is just clear the interview. Just focus on that. Don't worry about anything else. So I really want to take this stage to thank all the people who have helped me out, right, at that crucial stage in my career, and that's the reason I'm sitting here. Yeah.
So one more thing I saw that so totally sir totally so one more thing like i saw like you know a lot of initiatives there right here like really exciting initiatives right probably people like me who are just like two three years into the career might not be up for that, but what people like us at our land can do is help the people who are coming to a new country, like probably USA or Europe, just to get their first job, right? It goes a long way, you know, just give them the right guidance, give them the right motivation to at least land their internship. The least what I would expect me, including myself and all the people here is just, you know, probably accept that first connection request when a guy sends you, right, on LinkedIn. If you see that NIT tag, that goes a long way. Really, it goes a long way because he has some faith when he sends that request to you. You know, he's like, okay, out of all those people in USA, I don't know, this person might help me, right? And you might have those 60 days to find that job which each one of you have had here. So that's just a humble request from my side, but this is a very- I just want to respond to you. If you're planning products at low ticket size also, mm -hmm. maybe $10, $20 a month kind of stuff, mm -hmm. we will come out with those products so that as a group also, you could contribute significantly. You don't worry about doing it individually also. Right. We'll come back with those products. IT Madras has those products. We'll come back with those products. Okay. Absolutely, sir. That would be great. So you can feel part of the moment starting now. Right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks, sir. It was a great event. Uh, glad for being here. Thank you, guys. Thank you, God. I think we'll wrap this. Uh, yeah, sorry, sorry. So, give a big hand to Raja. All of us should have a big hand because, you know, we are all in there. I live in there almost 30 years, right? And you are probably one year senior, 84? 84 December. Okay, 85 December. Okay, one year. Okay. You're Deepak's class man. Yeah, yeah. batch mate, same thing. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. So I have nobody here. 30 of us showed up for bad food, bottling, beer event like two weeks ago. <laughs> 85 oh, guys. Guys, sit down, sit down. How many of you know bad food? Like a, like a, like a brewing pot, right? Showed up. I was telling Sitaraman. Sitaraman yelled at me in the same way he would yell at me from Bhuti to Sapphire. Pata or something. <laughs> that is, so how many of you enjoyed festival? That's all? Okay, let me bring the 2019 kids here. 2019 and below are, are, the, are my kids, kind of, my son kids. Almost. Come on, 2019 batch and let five oh, guys attack coming and going now. Oh, no, they can run. Come on, guys. 2019 and Later. Come on, come running. You guys remember first number. We remember first number in that stage, like 50 years ago, 1981 to 85. Kumar, Shuram Kumar, Sitaraman. I was asking Sitaraman to sing for you. I've been forgotten the guitar is Sriram Namachandra and Tree. Where is he? He is here. Come on, Sriram. Come on over. Come on, Sitaraman. Come here, please. Come here. I have a question for you, both of you. Come You did a first number. We all enjoyed it. You know why I'm saying that? The memories. Come on, guys. Come. 2019 kids. Come on. You're, you're still kids. The reason I'm bringing them up, how do we influence them? Molly cannot influence them. I can't influence them. We're all gray hair, glass hair. I told my son the other day, show, show your picture, my picture. I used to have hair like you. If you don't believe it, look at that picture. I had hair. And then last my hair because my wife took it. If wife is not here, I can tell it. No? She's from PhD tech. PhD tech don't understand REC. How many of you are spouses from different universities? How many of you can convince your wife that you are better college? Wife's dad has plus your husband. No way. This is not happening once there, right? Why am I saying that we have a brand? In fact, I have a guy with me, mechanical engineering junior. Uh, Raja, come on over a little, real quick. Hold on now. He's from Panichi. You know, the networking power is mechanical engineering guy with a PhD from Arbana Champion. That's Sitaraman, mechanical engineering from RIC Trichy. You know, most of my, my batch and uh, Sitaraman's batch, mechanical engineers, they ended up going to Arbana Champion for nuclear engineering. This guy, mechanical engineer, in mechanical engineering. But he's looking for a job in his field with a PhD, not getting the job that you would like to have in the area. Can you, can you believe that? The networking came here today just to connect with some of you. Yes. 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 Yes.
What will motivate your friends to come to this event tomorrow? The extension. Mali has come from India, from Chennai. It's not a joke. Right? What would bring some of your friends tomorrow for an event and extend it one more day? Networking. What would chief? You have to say something exciting. You cannot say it's a group of people getting together, eating dinner, drinking Johnny Walker. Nobody's coming then. Do this even in their borders. Maybe they'll come. Stop. Natural show place. I'm just giving an idea. Social networking is you have to first of all be social. It's either Facebook or LinkedIn, nonsense, everything. If you're not social, it's antisocial. There is a people in Bay run, running around. I'm proud to be antisocial. Have, have you seen that guy? Have you seen that t-shirt? I'm proud to be antisocial. We are normally nerds. We're not, we not social people. He does a phenomenal job of bringing his son here. Raja Sanghe, Sunya Raja right here. How did he convince him to work for you? In alumni meet, he's not alumni from RDC. Second thing I'm feeling, Recal does not connect the NIT. The brand. Maybe it started before the NIT. We're doing something about that. Something uh, like that. No. Yeah. So what rebranding it, don't worry. Yeah, how would no. you connect your friends? You tell us any one of them because we need your input. We keep it quick, huh? Yeah, people are. That's what I'm saying. I mean, keep it quick, I think. Yeah, keep it exciting, it. keep it fun. People like Sita Ramos should perform here. Just too many commercial. Otherwise, we are sleeping, we are drinking Johnny Walker 50 plus, sitting in the same place, we are sleeping. I'm telling you, the plan actually went differently. Thank you. Thank you, sure. Thank, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you guys. I think, uh, as we said in the uh, beginning, let's follow our hearts, let's put our heads together and let's stretch our hands out and make the hands together and make NIT greater and greater, brand NIT really big. Yeah. I and thanks, Mami. And um, once again, I think big thanks to all you guys for showing up. And uh, before you leave, I think we will take one photograph. Uh, it's a group photograph. Oh, whoa. They're coming on. They're coming. Just kept on for, for that. Um, Nami, can we have the lights? I think house well, lights. See if I can come out of stage quickly for Please a photo. Please come to the stage. So yeah, let's, all, let's all have one photograph. Yeah. Okay, folks. Um, on uh, YouTube and Zoom, I think we are signing off.